Hello, welcome to my channel today. I'm doing another experiment here uh, with the pearl cell recipe. I get a lot of questions about uh, paints and if you could use something other than the Artist Loft paint. So I decided I would give it a shot and see what the results would be. So you'll see that in this, this uh, canvas, the base paint has the Amsterdam white instead of Artist Loft white. It's the Amsterdam titanium white. Um, and so I'm gonna just uh, ch try this out and see if this one will create the pearl cells. Um, and now in this canvas, I'm using the golden titanium white instead of the artist loft white and previously i used to think you could use any white uh, but after i did this experiment uh, i came to a little bit different conclusion so this is the golden and now the the ba the puddle paints are Payne's gray mixed with prussian blue um, and the sky blue mixed with deco art whispering turquoise and golden magenta and the fluids those are my puddle paints and I use the same puddle paints throughout the entire experiment because I wanted to make sure that I had consistent results so here I'm going to stretch this all out um, and I usually will stretch to almost like a 90 degrees but Make sure that when you stretch one way, you stretch back the other way so that you get pearl cells all the way around the canvas, if that's the look that you're, you're going for. So here's the time lapse. I realized that I may not have gotten all uh, enough of the paint off on that golden uh, titanium white one, so I decided to redo it. Um, so it it really wasn't um, selling up very much. So I just wanted to make sure that my, my results were consistent. So this is about 45 minutes later. This is the Amsterdam canvas. And so yeah, you can see that you did get, we did get some cells. Some of those pearl cells popped up, especially in that Payne's Gray Prussian Blue area. Uh, I definitely always get great reactions to that paint and it looks like even the magenta and the golden fluids has good reaction to that as well now this is the golden canvas and I noticed that the golden titanium white does not react as well uh, as the Amsterdam and definitely not as well as the uh, the artist loft but I did get kind of some cool cells right there so I thought that was interesting I mean I wasn't really going for that but I like those magenta cells they were really pretty so yeah I did get some in that corner but the golden titanium uh, white was not as much of a success as the Amsterdam so then I looked around and I thought well what other whites do I have so here is the Liqui Liquitex Titanium White. And so I decided I would give it a shot. Now the recipes are basically substituting out the Artist Loft White for the Titanium Whites that I had. And it could be the Titanium White that it's just not responding great to. I'm not really sure, uh, just maybe too heavy or too dense, but but that's all I had in my studio, so that's what I decided to use in this experiment, other than the Artist Loft. So here's the Liquitex one, and you can see it had real small, it had quite a few cells, but very small, very tiny. So I decided I would try the Liquitex again, but adding in more of the satin enamel. So instead of two parts satin enamels, this recipe has four parts satin enamels to the two parts Liquitex. And so I thought, well, maybe since I am getting cells and they're real small, maybe if I just add a little bit more, I will end up with larger cells. So here I am again putting down the Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue mix. 
the Whispering Turquoise mixed with the Sky Blue Amsterdam and the Magenta by Golden Fluids. So I'm going to stretch this all out here. Um, and I don't know, I must have been having a brain fart this day because I put my base coat down, but I didn't stretch it out before I put my petal paints on top. So it started rolling over itself and it was not the look I was going for. <laughs> and so I had to go ahead and add in some more of the uh, base paint before I could continue stretching. Okay, so on this one, I decided to completely omit any extra whites. So this has no Artist Loft um, or any of the titanium whites. This just has the bare satin enamels and the pure white. And again, I did the same thing. I don't know what was my problem this day, but I forgot to add the rest of the base paint. I forgot to stretch the base paint before I added the puddle paints, so I had to go back in and and do it so um, here I am again just adding in those puddle paints I'm not really being too cute about it because I'm just looking for cell reactions so I just kind of throwing the paints on the canvas here and stretching it out so on this one the Liquitex uh, with the four parts of the satin enamels that's the one I'm stretching now um, and just always bringing that that paint back to center so that you're getting stretching the paint out a lot and then ending up with those pearl cells on the edges and they will usually work themselves in this is the one without any of the extra paint I thought well I'll just see what the sat just satin enamels will do so I am going to let you watch here for a minute while these develop and um, then I'll come back to you with the results in the close-up. Okay, so you can see here, I mean, that one with just the satin enamels in it reacted really well. Got a ton of cells, um, kind of had more of a cloudy look to it, uh, kind of more of that gray started popping through, like a gray cloud started popping through. And then this is the one with the Liquitex. I mean, not as much reaction, but I kind of like the reaction on this one. Uh, not quite so muddy looking in the reactions, but it's still got a ton of cells um, in the colored paints. So, I mean, depending on the look you're going for, you know, that you want to take that into consideration. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and um, don't forget to go over to DJ Fluid Arts. Uh, my dad's channel and give him some love. All right, y'all have a good day.